Hello dear traders, today is the 27th of May, you're watching Financial News with me, Anna Kasatkina. The movements of currency pairs are likely to be thin amid market holidays in the US and the UK. Thus, the market participants are focused on the European election results. The US dollar is trading at its lowest levels. After its abrupt weakening at the end of the last week, investors are anticipating its further short-term decline. However, today the greenback is trying to bounce off. It closed the Asian session at 97.68. The US dollar versus the Japanese yen pair rose slightly to 109.54. Nevertheless, the pair continues its trading near the three-month low, recorded two weeks ago after the aggravation of the US-China trade conflict. So the pair is likely to be trading in the bearish channel. The movement of the greenback to the yen was limited by the visit of Donald Trump to Japan last Saturday. The trade negotiations turned out to be fruitless. Most of the important questions will be discussed after the Japanese elections in July. The single currency remains stable. Official forecasts have shown that pro-European parties are likely to receive most support in the elections. Traders have focused on Europe, so the recovery of the Australian dollar is expected. The Australian versus the US dollar pair is trading at 0.6923. Excluding the election results in Europe, investors are awaiting news on the nomination of candidates for the post of the new UK Prime Minister. Follow the latest updates on financial markets with us on InstaTV. Thanks for watching. See you back soon.